the culture war. It ain't over. In fact, it's just going to ramp up again. Because the media will deny it. But last month, for us, was a decisive win. What's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Glad you stopped by. And if you're brand new, welcome. Grab a seat, stay a while. Do me a couple favors first. Go down and hit that subscribe button. Go next door, ring that bell. Make sure it says all so you know when the next video pops up. Hit that like button, and before you head out, drop a comment. And if you're of the over 540 subscribers already here, welcome back for another round. I ask that you also hit that like button. And before you leave, drop a comment, because YouTube does love the comments. And of course, share the video out on all social media. Whew. Thank you, Roman of the Empire, for having that Thanksgiving Day chill stream on. I was glad to be a part of that. Link to his channel will be down below in the description. Go out and check out Roman of the Empire. Also, fundraiser. We're in, we're in our first week. We're going through December 20th. All logos up for grabs. Link to that will be down below in the description. Grab yourself some merch for yourself or your favorite nerd. All proceeds going to the Stuttering Foundation of America. <sighs> oh boy. The culture war. Some would want you to believe that this is not a thing. Oh, make no mistake. It is a thing. Um, for those who may not know, this started in about 2014 with the hashtag Gamergate. With Anita Sarkeesian and her ilk going on and on. As Miss um, Anita famously said, everything is sexist. Everything is racist. Everything is homophobic. Obic, yada, 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 and it's your job to call it out all the time. I bet she's lovely at our, our arties. Um, didn't really hit the mainstream zeitgeist until 2016 with the all-female Ghostbusters, um, where if you didn't go see this film, you were wanting a certain orange man to be president. That's how bad it got. Um, the mainstream media industrial co complex has been waging a war against us, the fans, the paying customers, for quite some time. And in some cases, we have suffered some losses. And other times, we've had some major victories. In fact, this past month has been a major, major win. For us, the fans, the paying customers. And it was against the most antagonistic of all the culture war enemies. The House of the Mouse. Disney. Now, 2020, 2023, for that ma matter, has been a victory for the fans. And a really bad year for Di Disney. Let's just be honest. And the latest victory of this. The resounding victory comes in The Marvels, a film that, for those of us who practice common sense, we already knew this thing was going to flop. We just didn't know how badly it was going to flop. Um, a film that still, at the time of recording, has not passed $70 million domestically, will probably not get to $100 million domestically, is in danger of not getting past $225 million globally, a film that would possibly be a $300 million loss to Disney Marvel. Ouch. An outright rejection of the MCU. And as bad as that is, Marvel has had even more big losers on their hands with the socialist praising Wasp and Ant-Man Kamimania, a film that lost about $200 million. Now, granted, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 might have broke even, really has been the only saving grace for Disney this year since the other big tentpole film release, Indiana Jones and the Dumpster Fire of Destiny also lost about $200 million as well. Still not going to, we're not going to mention Little 
Mermaid at the box office, Elementals at the box office, Strange World at the box office, Haunted Mansion at the box office. But that's just the big screen. Let's not forget Disney Plus, it was a streaming service that is over $15 billion in the hole. With titles like this past year, Secret Invasion, Loki Season 2 having historic low viewership. Yet these pale in comparison to the bomb that came from Lucasfilm. Ahsoka. A series that was supposed to save Star Wars. How did that go? A series that was supposed to drive new subscribers to Disney+. Plus. Well, a $2 new subscriber fee for a year, I think, has more to do with that than Ahsoka ever did. A series that found itself ranked number five on Nielsen's top ten for its premiere, two episodes, but failing to make the top ten with each week following. Now... We haven't seen anything like this for quite some time. The only best example was last year when Tolkien fans showed fandoms how to stand up when they collectively rejected Amazon's Rings of Power. A series that 63% of the audience that started watching episode one never finished the series. Tolkien fans, good on you for setting the standard. Oh, beautiful. Final thoughts on this. Victories have been won for sure, but this is not over. The media industrial complex is not willingly going to give up the stranglehold they've had on culture. They are going to Double down on the message and their gaslighting of us, the fans, the paying customers. And if you think Disney is going to join the course correction party, oh, they will be the last to join the course correction party if they ever show up. But for now, take the victory lap. We have earned it, but stay it. Vigilant, keep fighting, stay the course, because we are winning. But these are just my thoughts. I want to hear from you now. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Check me out tonight, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern, over on Legion Talk for Friday Night's Royal Rumble. Actually, you can check me out a little er earlier than that for a special Only Nerds over on Wookie Bee Badge channel that will be at 5 p.m. Pacific. 8 p.m. Eastern, so you get a whole block of time with just me? You lucky people, you. Um, but yeah, check check me out tonight for Wookie Be Bad, and then leave Legion Talk. Oh, thanks for stopping by, folks. Quick reminder before you head out, out the door. Hit that subscribe button, ring that bell if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, hey, thanks for sticking around this long. I appreciate that. I will see you all very soon, guys. I hope you had a great week. Have a wonderful weekend ahead of you. And always have fun. Hashtag keep talking. And always keep that smile on your face. <laughs> Toodles.